And my name is Keisha, a dance teacher, and we are talking as usual about healing through dance. And it's gonna be really exciting today because we're looking at how to get closer to your healing and the different aspects of healing and how it all works and fits together. All right, so let's just go back to the basics. So let's have a look at what um, encompasses healing. So you have got your body, obviously, you've got your physical body, um, you have got your mind or your will, um, you've got your emotions, and then you've got your spirit. So those are the areas that you can consider. If you're saying to yourself, okay, I've not been well for quite a while, and for those of you who've heard my story and who've watched the other lives, you would know that I was ill for quite a number of years on and off and have God, God has taken me through that process of how to access healing. And that's why I felt so passionate to bring it to you. And obviously it encompasses the way I dance and the way I use dance in healing as well. And that informs how I present what I'm doing in dance as well. So this is what I'm talking to you about today. Now, I know that some of you have illnesses, some of you have been suffering, or you know someone who has, and maybe you're the one supporting them, I don't know. But I know that there's a lot of illness out there. I mean, obviously we've got COVID going around and people are, health is on everyone's mind at the moment to make sure that everyone's keeping safe and everyone's keeping healthy. And I hope you are doing that because that's so important to make sure that you're healthy in terms of the whole COVID thing. However, the other illnesses are still there. I think when it first started, when COVID first started, everybody got so buried under COVID that people forgot that there were other people suffering with other illnesses and people almost didn't want to go to the doctor because of fear that they were going to catch um, COVID and have extra, extra suffering on top of what they already had. So they're literally staying away. So a lot of people, I think, have stayed away and maybe not got the help that they needed because of fear. Um, and I don't even blame you. I don't blame you because um, it, it was possible, you know, and at that time it was all new, wasn't it? So people wasn't sure how it was gonna affect if you brought your child there. I know somebody brought their child to the hospital and the whole family got sick of COVID. <laughs> so it's like, and I get it, but we're just talking about, you know, so there are underlying issues that were there in your life. And I hope that they are not affecting you going out I mean we can't go out that much anymore but I just mean in general like you wanting to go out maybe I should put it that way um I know when I was really ill I didn't want to go out because I felt so ill it was better to just sit there not do anything just lie down and not move and that's fine um and when you begin to feel like that and if you've ever felt like that that means that you've gone too far and you need to you have to get to a point where you're living your life normally. You're not, your decision about whether, I'm not talking about, co regardless of COVID, I'm just forget, I have to forget that we can't really go out now, but I'm just thinking in terms of if we could go out normally and you wanted to go out, your issue is not stopping you. That's not the reason that you chose. It might be, it might be the reason because COVID rules, fine. If that's your reason for staying in, great. But if your reason for staying in, not even going out for a little walk, is because you don't feel like it because of the illness or you can't, I know that physically you can't, that, that's understandable, but if you can actually go out and make an effort, but you don't want to anymore, you're mentally you don't want to do anything. Actually, I just, I'm okay in this bubble of um, gloom and illness and disease. No, it's time that we move past that and get out of that because that's not living, that's not living and that's not where you want to be. So I'm encouraging you to think about the different areas in your life which could be affected and maybe you can um, think about that for yourself and begin to move forward and address it in those areas. So I talked about last time the spiritual side. So if there's anything that you are involved in um, spiritually that is not of God, then I would ask you to have a look at moving away from that. And it might be occult practices, I know at my school, when I was at secondary school, they used to play the Ouija boards and things like that and get involved in all of that kind of thing. And I don't think they understood how much spiritual connection that would attach onto their life moving into their 40s. <laughs> I don't think that people really, they think it's a game. They think a lot of the children things that are on at the moment, they incorporate all of those, even re you know reading the, the tarot cards and the crystal balls and all that, they make it fun for kids. Not for my kids, yeah, because that 
is spiritual and you can dress it up as much as you like it has spirits attached to it and they're attached to your life and if you don't understand why you're getting ill then maybe think about if you've been involved in the past or in, in the present in any of those kind of occult practices all right and try to move away from those if that is possible sometimes it may be your family members you're not in a position because your family is doing it um, but I would urge you to think about that and really pray about that and ask God to help you move away from that as a starting point and if you don't if you wouldn't move it away from something normally it's useful to have something to go to so I am now saying that um, God is bigger and stronger and has created the whole world owns the whole world um, even understands the evil side. He knows what they're trying to do there with the whole um, occult thing and try to draw you away from the light. So I'm suggesting that you get into the word of God. Okay, so you can get a Bible um, for free on your phone. If you're not able to get out and buy one, you can get it on um, the U version app is free or there's any, lots of Bible apps that you can download for free and start to read and see what the word of God says about healing. You can even Google some Bible verses about healing as well and just start to read what God says about it if you're not Christian and you're just exploring, you just want to find out. Um, don't accept my word for it, find out for yourself. Um, and if you're into prayer, you can pray that prayer. And just say, God, even if you're not Christian, just say, God, show me. Simple as that, as that, as that prayer. It doesn't have to be any long jargon. God, show me where I need to change in my life to be healed. That's the key, really. Um, asking God what it is exactly for you. Because I could tell you my story and everything I did. And you could follow that map and I could say, oh, I've got an ebook that's got seven steps that you need to follow. And if you follow all the steps, that is not what I'm saying when it comes to healing. You have to ask the Holy Spirit what you personally need to do. And then listen and then do it. And then do it consistently. So I could, for me, sometimes I know God has told me um, not to eat certain things. And I'm like but I'm hungry and then I disobey and I eat that thing and then I, before you know I start fiction. Yeah, it's not because um, I'm not healed, it's because I didn't listen. He told me exactly what to do, even food-wise or who to connect with or who not to connect with spiritually or something like that. Um, what to do, what not to do and how to de-stress, all those things. You can ask God <laughs> and if you're not sure about how to listen, I don't know if you ever felt that you've had like a conscience, that kind of feeling, where you know something's not right or right, and you have that feeling, that's how it feels to me, and it's different for everybody, but you can feel it like that, you can feel it by reading the word of God, and certain verses may pop out to you, and like, oh my gosh, I never realised that. So there's that side, the spiritual side. You've then got, um, obviously, your physical body, okay uh let's actually let's go up to the mind so we're talking about our will our minds and our emotions so that's another area you can be ill uh you may have had heartbreak um and your emotions are twisted now because of hurt and unforgiveness and things like that and that can seep in unforgiveness fear and i've put this in one of my previous posts fear um sin doing things out of the will of God um, things like that can actually start to affect you, your body yeah because what you think eventually over and over and over again you will do yeah even the ones that you think you don't think anybody else is really realizing uh, that you're thinking about it even if you don't realize you're overthinking things and you're going over some negative things in your mind you don't even realize you're doing it you start to act it out and they start to come more to you. Why is all these negative things always coming to me? Do you think about those negative things often? I know I've done that in the past and it's not helped me at all. Yeah, it's only when I start to think about positive things and maybe rehearsing the word of God over things that God says are good about me, I'm beautiful, I'm wonderfully made, you know, and you are wonderfully made, you are beautiful and things like that and you're worth it and you do not have to accept certain things in your life that's stressing you out it's not a given so when you start to think about those things and think positively that's when you uh, are beginning to feed yourself the right stuff 
So then your mind is making the right decision based on what you've been telling yourself and the narrative you've been telling yourself, whether you hear it, whether somebody else has said it to you and you've allowed that, or whether you have said it to yourself. Okay, so then your mind, your will, your choices, it's, it's just as simple as children having choices, you know, if you good good decisions my children are in sunday school at the moment downstairs with my sister and they're talking about good decisions and bad decisions and as adults we think oh it's a, a sunday school lesson actually it's for adults as well you can even make good decisions but you make bad ones it's not difficult but we like to make the ones we like to make isn't it and then we blame healing or our health issues on someone else but we know we've made some choices that were not good so in saying that um, I just want to now move swiftly on. So we've talked about the spiritual aspect. We talked about our mind, our will, our emotions, and how that can negatively going over something in your mind can actually then produce a physical manifestation that ends up being a physical illness. That's where it comes from. That's where it comes from. Yeah, you might think, oh, I just developed an ill. No, it, maybe it developed over time. Maybe it could have been something that just, you know, it might have been a, an accident or something like that. That Yes, it is possible to just have a physical accident, a physical trauma. But what I'm saying to you, it's not always that you can think about, especially if you've been trying and trying to, to heal and it's just not shifting. You're doing all the right things. You're eating all the right, the right way. And you're doing everything you've been told and it's not shifting. You think about these other aspects. So then you're moving on to your body. I don't know if you, you know, you've got to the point where you, you've tried everything. Ask God what to do with your body. I was doing a lot of cleanses. I went through this whole, pro I'm, I'm a programs person, so I will jump onto this program and learn about this and, and then follow somebody who's doing it. And that's how I like to learn. And so I jumped on this health program where you had to do clean eating and you had to detoxify your body in so many different ways. And as I was doing that, um, I realized that um, some of the organs in my body were not processing the um, stuff. Okay, I'm eating some food, it's going down and then waste has to come out. But my body was not processing the waste export, for want of a better word. So instead of my kidney doing its work and filtering out the nonsense and then putting all the good nutrients in my body, it wasn't working properly. Then it, okay, kidney, you're not really functioning. Let me try the liver. Okay, liver, do your job. Oh no, you've got an overworked as well because of whatever it is. Oh, what about the blood? Okay, the blood would have a try as well. And, um, and then it gets so tired, it moves to your skin. And that is what eczema is. It's the body trying to get rid of the toxins because your other organs are not functioning properly. So the only way it can save your life is to get it out through your skin. And that is what eczema is. Now for years I thought eczema was a skin condition. It's a, a malfunction of the way your body is working inside your organs, filtering out the toxins. It's not doing it properly. It's not clean enough inside. So it sends it out through the skin and lo and behold, you're itching. <laughs> yeah, so you may not have eczema, but there's something else going on. It's deeper than just whatever the location is. Your body is interconnected. Yeah, your mind, your, the spirit, everything is interconnected, affecting you, manifesting physically. And you've got to ask God what it is. Now, they were doing a liver cleanse on this program I was doing. And I was like, great, I'm go doing this liver cleanse. And then why, is, why am I still not getting better? And I asked God, what is it? that I'm missing. And he said, it's not your liver, it's your kidney. I was like, oh. So I started looking up, you know, different um, juices I could do to cleanse out my kidney and teas and stuff like that. And that's when I started to see the progress. You understand? So I had to do a lot of research myself to find this and, and research, including asking the one who made me what exactly is wrong here because I'm like doing all this research and, and I'm not getting anywhere. Ask God to show you exactly what the problem is, the root problem. So it might be physical, show me it's my kidney, it might be spiritual, it might be emotional, it might be some decisions that you have made in the past. So this is just a little one, just to point you in the right direction of healing. And also, I'm always linking it to dance, obviously, because when you are healing through dance, you are moving 
and it is um, encouraging that healing and the music that you're moving to is encouraging that the spiritual aspect because dance is very spiritual but that's another live um, and it's okay you're connecting with the spiritual world when you dance when you dance okay so that is it for today so don't forget if you want to get more of these tips don't forget to subscribe to www.tontedance.com and you can subscribe in there to the newsletter and get some free information and i will see you on the next live and oh before i go for those of you who haven't heard yet the dance classes are free for a month they're at the same place on the website. You can sign up for absolutely free for a month just to encourage those people who really want to get moving, especially if you're ill, like you just want to get moving. Um, let me know if there is anything that I may have to adapt in the class physically for you so that you can still take part. I just want to encourage you people to get moving and um, start to really move forward to your healing and using dance as one of the avenues to do that. So it's free. So I just wanted to let you know that if you hadn't heard that already, get over to the website and you can book onto that. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Think about the things I've said. Let me have your comments. If there's any points, anything you want to discuss further, let me know in the comments as well or DM me and we can have those discussions and move you closer towards your healing. All right, everybody, I'll see you next time. Bye.